you ever jump in this on that? Hello! No, never. Get sick and say never me. Yeah. No, never. Or say you ain't drinking rum again. No, never. The last time you fall and block a train. You're telling people you stop, but you can't fool me with that. Look you in the band near back, whining like a acrobat. What you doing to me? Mikael Tesha is going to be here in a couple minutes. A shock, as you see a buckle head gone. Uh, let him stop, don't Never, ever. Never, ever. Never, ever. Never, ever. Oh, there you go. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never say never. You should have never, ever. Never say never. Never, never, never. Never say never. Never, ever. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers out there. Never, ever. He say he don't want she back again. No. Mikael, good morning, brother. How are you feeling? Morning, morning, morning. Morning. Good. 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 Nice. Good. Good. You guys, um, we would like to welcome to Trouble in the Morning, um, for Artless Spotlight, a gentleman goes by the name of Mikal Teja. He's going to yeah, be man. speaking with us and we're going to have uh, a celebration of Mikal's music. So Mikal, welcome to the show. Um, let me just quickly explain what we do here on Trouble in the Morning. This is a soca oriented show. We do everything soca. We love everything soca. And we celebrate the artists that create the soca music for us. All right. So my Come DJ is here and he's going to run through a couple of your songs and then we're going to talk about them and, you know, just really have a, a conversation with you. Um, yeah. How are you doing this morning, brother? How are you feeling this morning? Um, honestly, I'm good. Mm. But. We still, we still on a lockdown, on a on a yes. new lockdown here in Trinidad. So, you know, we're just readjusting to, you know, not being able to go out and you know purchase food and, and stuff like that. Right. So, like, so my mom, my mom sent me because we're from Arima, Trinidad originally, and my mm -hmm. mom sent me a message last night. She was like, "Yeah, Rondell, we on full lockdown now, full full lockdown. It's hard to get stuff outside and all of that. So, you know, I just want." You guys to be safe. Um, it ain't looking like we're going to have a carnival 2022. I think that's the least of our problems right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Fully exactly. Like, it's not going to be that. Like, no way in the foreseeable future right now. Like, 2024. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 no. At don't least say three, not daddy. Don't At least say three, don't do it, that. <laughs> Mikael, it's been like about 16 or 17 years. I haven't been back home. The one year I decided to go back home, psh, jammer in the camp by daddy, boy. Yeah, boy, that, that, that crazy. Yeah, that crazy. Mm. But you just had to roll with the punches, you know? But that's it, that's it. You got to take yeah. it as it come. You know, just make sure you and the entire family safe because we're looking forward to hear a lot more Mikael Tesha coming up. You have been doing so great already. You yeah, know? man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, it's it. it's it's just been a celebration. Like we love everything Mikal Teja around here. I ain't gonna hold you. You know. Yeah. So Thanks. um, let us know quickly how you get how you started in the business. Um. Well, I started in the business through songwriting. You know, I was like 15, 14 at the time. Um, working with Destro Garcia. Wow. Um. You know, writing for do some stuff with Blacks. Um. I was predominantly like writing for. You know, Casey, which is precision production. All right, know. Casey Phillips. All right, at fifteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, through that is how I kind of got my foothold in the game. And you know, of course, you know, you had to have some level of talent and you know, some level of drive to push and just keep pushing and pushing. And you know, here we are. You know, a couple of years later, you know, working with you know Nyla Blackmore, the Kess, the Ola Tunji, you know, and, and could go on and on. You know, so. That's it, but um, so straight out the gate, when you r started writing, you you got introduced to big names like Destra and them kind. Of, you was around them all the time. The friends, how how did that happen? Bro, that's what like this thing is just like, I I I call it divine intervention, boy. Because honestly, like how it happened was, I went down by Casey to do a song on my own, and he was just like. Yeah, we are in here. Yeah, my good, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, you know, he was just like, yo, this song where I do, like, you could real write now. You know, would you be interested in writing songs on rhythms and stuff? I'm like, yeah, bro, I, I, I'm a youth man still in secondary school. Like, I just looking for anything to do. So, first rhythm he sent me, it's like, ah, ma, this have a vibe. Send back something. He's like, nah, this is trash. 
Failure. Não, não, não. Tell me, yo, this failure. Go on. Yeah. Ah, what's that all? I say, oh, God, wait, boy. I say, well, let me try again, now. Nah. He said, man, next thing. I said, nah, boy. I had to get something on this. Yeah. <laughs> so, when I catch it now, and I send him back, he said, hmm, it has something. Fix this, fix that. And then he showed me how to structure a song like chorus, verse, pre-chorus, that kind of thing. And when he showed me the structure, that's when I realized, oh, okay, all right, boom. And then he said, man, next thing, he said, try something on this. And that was the one that Destra took. He was like, yeah, this real bad. I feel like I hear Destra on this. And from ever since, like, it's just been up upward. So let me ask you, you remember the name of the song that was for Destra? Yeah. A song called um, Carry On. Carry On by Destra. Yeah, Carry On on the... um. It's so free rhythm, I think. Mm. Yeah, boy. It's so much yeah. years ago, yeah. No, because um let, let me take let me take any desha. Let we let me hear where it is um a, a piece of it first, and then we ask him again. Mm. You say it was 15 when you wrote this? Yeah, well, 15 or 14. Wow! wow. Brother, I, I don't know. I know I know. you're not supposed to ask women this question, but I think as men, we save. How old are you now, bro? I'm actually 24. Wow, bro, 10 Ooh. years ago. Yeah, boy, damn. Wow, <laughs> son. Damn. No, you, you, I, was, you ever, is a man ever did, like, public speaking in school and extempo and them kind of vibe it? Not really, you know. Mm. But that's something. That's something I've never really been like exceptional at. Like I probably had like a two lines. Yeah. And one. But I used to I went Eldo Brown, right, Mikel? <laughs> and I used to have every Friday, because I am on I care freestyle. But if I sit on and I write something, I'll get something, right? But yeah, yeah. I used to have every Friday in school something called the two line party. Where we beating on the desk and thing, and then men just coming in and singing the best two lines now. So as you say that, that yeah. kind of remember remind me that. So how did you how you how you think the the, the ideas and all of that comes to you for writing? Like how 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 is that process? Well, initially, right, my mom, my mom, growing up, my mom always used to be like she's one of those parents who was like, um, it's not the, it's the, right, and. She's heavy into English and heavy into poetry. Now my mom's used to real write poetry, mm -hmm. so what really had get, got me into writing was seeing my mom's and my cousin both of them going back and forth in poetry, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Well, how did we not like? And I know trying to do it, but at the time I was also my mom had sent me to do guitar classes. Mm -hmm. The finals though, I was giving trouble in school, so you know. You need a, a little something to calm you down. And so I think at that time, both trying to do poetry and playing a little to play the guitar, it just kind of worked when it comes to songwriting. And it just kind of jazz. Always kept writing little songs, playing a little chord progression on the guitar and writing little songs and stuff like that. So that's so, basically what got me into that. No? Yeah. So like for the new person who out there who has a really great vocabulary. They have a really great way of putting together words and sentences. What mm. advice would you give them on how to structure a song? Um, so initially, just like with producing for me, what I did was I, um, I had took popular songs that I liked and I was running at the time and I analyzed them and, and, and really like, like, had Rihanna at the time her album um her pop album boy and I was constructing it and I was like okay so they start with that intro sometimes they start with the hook first so that's really listen to some of the fav some of the favorite songs or some of the popular songs that are going around right now 
and just like analyze the structure of it. So when you hear a particular section in the song, at what time does that come in, to, in the next part of the song? Like just really analyzing the music now, because that's what got me to really develop my level of structure when it comes to songs i guess listening to popular songs now mm. so how how is going into the music and writing are you now uh, well received by the other artists as a songwriter what was the struggles coming into that um boy honestly speaking i think no matter how great your work is right because soca is a kind of so, cause that kind of beast where if you ain't catch a hit song as an artist last year and you're coming this year, it's like you're back to square one. To square. Right. And the same thing could be said for the songwriters and the producers. So, if a producer didn't catch a hit rhythm or didn't catch a hit song in the last two years, like it's almost like you know they tend to under the bus in a kind of way until you, 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 you get out that monster again mm. so it could be said so for me it was always a case of not necessarily trying to prove yourself but remaining in that that element of yeah i had a i had a monster now right or a song in the season which which for me is one of the disadvantages of Sukana. Kind of. right now um as far as Mikel Teja the artist mm-hmm do you accept written songs from other writers as well, or you just write everything on your own? Nah, definitely, bro. I definitely accept stuff from other writers, but other writers do send stuff for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, send send <laughs> nothing! <laughs> it's okay. it's been real real, real real. Yeah. I feel like even even with some producers, like a lot of producers may not send me stuff because remember I still in a lot of people's eyes I'm still, you know, coming up the, the, the ladder. Right. You know, he's doing anything. And so that's why you see like the only producers that ha- that I've really been working with as an artist is um, you know, Casey. Right. Um, Nikolai. And I think that's it really. To be honest, but to be honest, with you in good hands with Casey and Nikolai because we have had, um, we have had. You have any? You done anything with Savannah yet? Savannah, yeah, Casey's uh, sister. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that's a good look too. You know, I just yeah. plug in. I just, yeah. I just plug everybody that passed through the show now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, birthday, right. one of your most amazing tracks coming out of, of Mikael Teja. What was the look behind that one? Um, bro, if I really tell you, mm. like the rhythm was done. Like the rhythm was done. We had because the first song on the rhythm I wrote was Patrice, mm-hmm. which was had out the bag. I said, right, yeah, they Patrice, they Patsy one time. Um and then we had second, second had something on it. I was like, right, mad. I say, yo. The world's like again this boy, and I keep vibing the rhythm. And then I catch outside mm-hmm. and for a particular artist, and the artist said, Nah. So I said, Cool. Oh, artist said, Nah, boy. Sure. Yeah. All right. I go and do this song. I go and do this song. So this is outside, right? I was going to do outside. But outside wasn't really my vibe. If you realize when I do music, most of my music is not really party music because. I don't really I try not to create music just for this apart, you know. Right. So ding dong, past the studio, first time I meet him. Mm. He wanted to vibe on some other rhythm. I say, well boy, I ain't really feeling this rhythm. I ain't really think he say way to the ball one time. Pull out one right. What's that he balling? I say Pressure. I want I want tune, I want tune. I say, well, he say, well, you know, we have. I say, well, I had this here. Mm. Literally, I'm not even exaggerating. From the first line, dirty bad mind, do oh, are we on the road? You know, he say yes. That is it. That is me. That is me. <laughs> Go on. He say, you take it one time. Right. So, when that happened, now same bedroom, Kevin, one half of our system, say too. He watched me. He said, boy, I knew he was going to do this song, eh? 
But I said, nah, I, that, that, that will push me to get another song. I can get another song for me, man. Like right, smoke. right. So, boom. And I know that, and I know that outside is a monster. From the jump, mm. I know outside and Revo, man. Right. Them the songs, I was like, all right, I know this go connect. So, I say, all right, what to do, boy? What to do? I'm driving around. I would line with my sister. And she let me know in my birthday is February something. Right. Real. And she, she said, yeah, carnival time doesn't be a no jokey time for me. It's my birthday time, so I just really turn up now. Yeah. So that was the first time it hit me. Boom. So birthday. All right. Then now I went to a small dance. When I went to the small dance, I, oh, I hear two DJs back to back come and say, anybody here celebrating a birthday right now? Right, 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 right. It, it, no other DJ mm-hmm. is always saying, anybody here celebrating a birthday right now? This right now for the birthday girl Nicole right now. When Nicole, yeah, you know? yeah. So that was that was the second time that that was true. Like the stars was just showing you. It was aligning. It was aligning themselves. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But the third time which struck gold for me, I was driving and normally I do listen to radio. Right. right? I do listen to radio, but my battery was dead. I couldn't play music, so I said, "You know what? Let me listen to some radio." Mm. Listening to radio now, I hear. A man come online, he say right about now. I want to dedicate this to the birthday girl right now. Blah, 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 blah. I say, but real people celebrating birthday boy. Mm-hmm. And that one hit me. I say, yo, I did do a birthday song in Soka because it didn't really have a birthday song in Soka. No? Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's when it struck me, bro. And when I when I come up with the vibe and come up with the idea, I'd play it for some of my friends, and they was like, yo, this bad, you know. This bad. Very but the rest of the team didn't, uh, didn't really understand at the time. They were just like, all right, this is a cool song. I say, all in now, boy, this song could go. This song has so much potential to do so much now. Mm-hmm. And initially, when the rhythm dropped, nobody was playing birthday. They were just playing second and ding dong. They wasn't even playing Patrice. Wow. It was just ding dong. Yeah, dead serious, right? But for me, I never took it the, the wrong way. And I think sometimes artists could take them things the wrong way. Now. They always do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I say, all right, now nah, they ain't playing me. That mean that that mean it's not a DJ song. It's a song I got to build outside now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I just seeing I watching girls on my IG posting as the birthday. So every time on and you go on social media, there's always somebody birthday. So I say, you know what? I started to get them drop. So what's that why now? Like it's your the birthday. birthday. Yeah. Boom, and then I just send them it normal. I ain't act for nothing. I ain't yeah. nothing. I say, hey, happy birthday. All the best. And then so then now they start to repost it on their mm. IG stories. Marketing. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yes, man. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. And that's how it, it, it ends up to be where it is now. When the DJ see the girls and them posting it up on the girls and them vibing it, because every time now, when is some girl from the Caribbean or whatever, when is their birthday, they playing that, bro, and mm. they rocking up. And that's what kind of catch the DJs now. They be like, oh, nah, we can't sleep on this we one. We can't sleep on it. So, Mikel Teja, introduce for us birthday on Trouble in the Morning one time. Yo, Trouble in the Morning. For anybody right now celebrating a birthday, this is the song for you right now. Birthday ah, on ah. the rhythm. Yeah. Make out, Tasha. Tasha Van Dessen. It's your birthday, baby. This is this. Hey, mommy, with the pretty little body, man, you hurt somebody when you whine. Ouch. You got the thing down, there, down, there, down, there, with the sun don't shine. I'm bring it down. Hey, mommy, with the pretty little figure, say so you want six figure for the whine. You know me got it, sign the check, baby. But I want it for life. Oh, oh, oh. Mikael, Tasha, Tasha, pardon this. Hey, mommy, 
Chill with the pretty little body, man. You hurt somebody when you whine. Ouch. You got the thing down there, down there, down there, where the sun don't shine. I'm bring it down. Hey, mommy, with the pretty little figure, say you want six figure for the whine. You know me got it, sign the check, baby. But I want it for life. Oh, oh, oh. We have this segment on our show, which is called The Burst or Not. It's where we take mm-hmm. new or existing tunes that is picking up steam and we put it to the court of public opinion. So the crowd tells us whether the tune is burst. If they if it bursts, they like it. If it's mm-hmm. not, they don't like it. And I'm seeing only bursts in the chat room right now. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, yeah, the feeling this one a lot. Now, Mikel, I want to ask you. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't call the person any names, but I want to know who is the artist that turned on such a smash hit as outside, bro? Who was that person? You, 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 you feel you will call her name today, boy? Who, who, who turned on such a monster hit, boy? I know him now. No, but you see, in his the in, in that artist's defense. Right. Artist defense. Um, he had a song that in his catalog was very similar in concept now. In, yeah. in in the vibe now. Yeah. So and that's why I never like thing, you know, and it, it just didn't work at that time for him. Bro, it wasn't meant for him, period, you know. When the stars it, was aligning for you, the stars aligned for you to give certain people certain tunes. And that yeah. one wasn't meant for him, you know. That's what yeah. it was, you know. That was meant for Ding Dong, you know, for Ding Dong to really bust out. For real, on some real real talk. For real. Um, Producer, check me there. Check me out, you know, Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. So mm-hmm. now, Mikael, um, there, there, you, you have such an extensive catalog at twenty four years old. You think you can put a number on how many recorded hits you have already? Hmm. Um. Wee, boy, that is be tough. Ah, mm-hmm. boy. Yeah, that one a little tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me, let me bypass that. Now we have another one here. DJ X rated is here. I, I go by the name of Rondell. Um, I know mm. DJ X Rated has a song for you. Just let us know the name of that song there quickly, X Rated. Um, it's a collaboration with Kerwin, Bumper Murder. Wow. Which he, he performed. Big breakfast. How that That's happened? How, how that happened? Why you meet Kerwin? What, what was going on? No, well, again, I actually had written for Kerwin. Could be about two years back now. Yeah? Uh, the same year of Workout, I believe. Workout the year after. Um, it wasn't a big song to see. Um, we used to get a little rotations and stuff. And just that relationship and that respect was there now. Because, of course, for Kerwin to take a song from you. you know, and he's you know. a writer himself. He's a writer himself. Right. Yeah, so just getting that, that little strength from him. And, you know, the, the link was always there. And I, had, I just messaged him. I was like, yo, bro, I have this record here. I think, like, you would destroy it. Thing. He's like, oh, for real? Send me now. And when I sent him it, you know, he was just like, oh, this have a vibe, man. I like this. I like this. And, you know, it just, it just, it just, it just happened after that. No, no. Mikal, when you sit down with the pen and the pad or your phone and your, your thumbs, whatever you write, however you write, and you start to, you start to pen our vibes. You think that vibes come from? Do you have an artist in mind that you pen for, or is just like I write in a tune and whoever it goes to at the end? Do you start off with the idea in your mind like, all right, this one is for Patrice, this one is for Kerwin? Um, not really, you know. I tend to let it be from a place of, all right, this is what I want to see, and. You know, this is this artist could best pull this off. No, this artist okay. might be really pull this one off better. 
Right, right, right. DJX rated. Let's get into another Mikal Teja here on Trouble in the Morning. Trouble in the Morning, Mikal Teja is in the building. Let's do Work for me. I just want a body. Bad, 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 body. I got look and walk up, she body. Kill them on it. Kill them on it. Hey, roll the bumper. Kill them on it. Kill them on it. Kill them on it. Hey, roll the bumper. Kill them on it. Hey, hey, hey. Lo, lo, Mikel, Talk to me. You're comfortable with that girl who just look real good and with the worst grammar in the world. That way you say it? No. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this, yeah? Yeah. A lot of times we tend to watch a bad girl as, you know, a girl who from, let me say, the hood or whatever. You're right. Right? And like she had nothing going for Sheena. Mm-hmm. But nah, it's a plenty bad girl out there who are real thing, who educated, who 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 Yes boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always try to when I do in songs, especially soca songs, I always try to it's very easy to say, you know, bend your back and skin it out and even if I'm going down that line, I was always try to put it in a positive light, you no. Know? Always leave some kind of Positive affirmation, you know what I mean? I appreciate you as a writer, yeah. Mikael Teja. I appreciate you as a writer. I appreciate you as a writer. DJ X Rated. Good girl thing no work for me. I just want a body. Bad, 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 body. I got look and walk up she body. Kill them on it. Kill them on it. Hey, roll the bumper. Kill them on it. Kill them on it. Kill them on it. Hey, I'll stand up now. Kill them on it. Roll, roll. Kill them on it. Time to kick with each other. Stand up now. Stand up now. accomplishment in this in this game so far brother no i grateful i grateful to just be able to do music and coming from my background right i just grateful to be able to do music and create music and make a living off of that right but i still see like there's so much more that i, I hear to do now so i don't ever get complacent and say well you know well, i get this and i have a, have a tune here and blah, blah, blah. like i still hungry i still I still want to push. I still want to, you know, you know, reach for more. So, as I'm grateful to be here, humble to be here, but we still hungry and we still want to push and we still want to do more. You know what I mean? Now, has Mikal Teja ever entered the international stage of a soccer monarch? Yeah, bro. I've actually, in the last two years, I was there for the last two years. Um, so, the first year, uh, I didn't, they didn't, I didn't place in the top three. Right. Uh, but this year, that past year, um, because Bomba same Bomba was in the final, so yes. it was Kessan, Iowa, 
it was Lero, it was um, Problem Child. Like, I was like the youngest fella in Diana. Mm. So, you know, I was just grateful to be on the stage and do my thing. And this year, I came back again with Ding Dong. And, you know, we kind of we kind of took third place in the Soka Monarch. So, Very nice. Yes. But now, um, what are your aspirations going forward? Do you have sights set on winning a Soka Monarch anytime the carnival open back up? Um, honestly, that is not where my head space is at. Right. Honestly. Okay. It's not, it's not about winning a Soka Monarch. Um, for me, I honestly trying to, to showcase what being a Trinidadian is outside a carnival now. Right. Right. You know, which is which for me is sometimes the music just be boxed into just carnival and jump and wave and I, I feel like we had to show them what it is to be Trini outside of carnival now. Give give me Kelly Ram Lava plus some of them, please, brother. Please. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why. When you hear soca music, in everyone's mind it's already categorized as happy music that's what they call it which is fine but it's also <laughs> categorized as seasonal music right yeah. when 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 we try to differentiate the reggae between the soca they make reggae music year round whereas us we make music uh for a season and i remember when the pandemic hit that was a very big debate will there mm -hmm. be soca music coming out you know, and there were guys like yourself who was dropping tunes left and right, and we have yeah, to yeah. appreciate fellas yeah, like all yeah, everybody yeah. make that test, huh? For real. Trinidad Madman, good morning. No, Mikal Teja, what's what's next for you? What 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 are you working on right now? Um, well, right now, right now I'm I'm actually putting together my my project right now. Um we're looking at uh, August, September. Mm -hmm. uh, first time I'm putting out a project. It's not an album. It's more like EP. EP. All right. So, you know, just taking that steps of release our body of work and, and building my own YouTube and really just building my, my, my fan base right now. At Very the moment. nice. You know, hence the reason why I'm dropping music. I'm not dropping music for a booking or, you know, to get a show or to eat a food. It's more me trying to showcase my art now. And who I am as an individual, so that is a that is a good look. Now Anson Pro, we had him on the show. I don't know if you're familiar with Anson Pro. Yeah, yeah. yeah we had Anson on the show, and he was breaking down the difference between album and EP. And uh -huh. he, and you were saying that you put out an EP just to show your body your work. Mm -hmm. uh, are the artists and because there's a lot of soca artists right now who are just dropping EP. In your opinion, do you think that the artists are probably scared of the recorded numbers. I'm asking this because Anson said, when you drop an album, all the sales and the numbers are officially recorded. But if you drop an EP, you kind of slip through the cracks and you're just promoting yourself. So I'm realizing the trend now in Soka is a lot of EPs being dropped. Yeah. Is that something I for you? Do you, do you, do you want, not want your numbers recorded, but you still want to promote yourself? Do you think it's too early? What, what, what is the reason for the EP? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. All right. So for me, I chose to do the EP, not necessarily for the numbers to be recorded. Right. Uh, it's more that an album is nine to 10 songs. Right. E is five to six. Okay. It's just a shorter version. Um, you know, you don't want to overwork yourself. At the end of the day, you know, my team is very small. There's a handful of us. So I don't want to overstretch my hand. Like, I try to work within my range. At the end of the day, it's music. And you need money to then create this. Right, right. Create the entire 10-track album. Like, I think that's, from, that's more for the more established artists who have the... The, the, the income to do that okay okay i understand <laughs> so from my from my angle it's more of a yeah i'm trying to do this on a smaller scale because of my level and where the income that i have coming in now. all right you know? very understandable very understandable ladies and gentlemen this is trouble in the morning we are talking to mikhail tezia out of tnt he's a great songwriter a crazy artist and he's here speaking to us this morning no Mikal, let me get yeah. to the questions then. Mm -hmm. 
in your 24 years of life, <laughs> how much woman horn you, Mikel? <laughs> no. All right. So I don't know if I get horn. Oh, God. <laughs> don't lie down, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. You must know. Mikel, you must know. Mikel, before you, before you even but go I, further, I don't know like that, but... before you go further, Mikel, <laughs> I get horn at least 15 times in my life, right? Wow. I have, I've had 15 girlfriends and I think I get horn from everyone. The wow. worst horn I ever get in my life is when she leaves my fat girl, Mikael. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see why you, why that tune resonates with me a little bit harder than everybody else? So I know, I know everybody, I know everybody have horn in stories. Like yeah. I was just tell my boy, I get horn back to back. Mm. Back to back. I say, what they call you, Drake? <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, for some reason, boy, I just never find out. And I do horn. Yeah. It's end the relationship. I do horn. Yeah. I do do that. Now, as a man, I do horn in relationship too. If it's one thing a woman could be secure about me is I do horn. You understand? Mm -hmm. But as a man go, I go talk to other girls. I go lie with other girls. But when it comes down to the physical part of it now, you know, I ain't going down that road. I'm stopping there. Yeah. That's why I draw the line. But then there are also women who say to me, listen, by you just having a conversation with this one you're horning me, by you just, you know, paying more yeah. attention to this one you're horning me. So let me make the message clear. T tell me, Cal Tesha, what is horning? So for me, people say, you know, you could emotionally horn. Mm. I don't fully agree with that. I think that's real circumstantial. But right. so if you if you interact in anything sexually, that's horn. That's horning. Yeah, that's horn. I feel so too. That 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 my stance on it. That's horn. So you no sit on you sit on and you pen a tune about horning. Is this tune based off of other people's? Yeah. Um, for sure. Oh, I tell you, I have bed. Is my bedroom tell me that you say, boy, she gave me the concept of everything. You say, brother, let me tell you something. He said, the next time I get my girl, because he now come out of a little relationship, he said, the next girl I go with, he said, the first two years of that relationship, I horn in like dog. <laughs> horn in like dog. Just I in case. It. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, just in case. So, you see, but anytime you go south, you get up. Well, right. I live my life. Uh, I ain't, I ain't hold back myself because I, I, I was with this person. I said, so what are you doing? You're honing first then. <laughs> yeah, honing first. <laughs> oh, lazy concept. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You, know, you know, when the first time I hear this song, I make a like, like yeah. When I heard this song, I say, yo, suppose, right, if you never horn first, you could probably have a very long fit for relationship. But mm. because you horn first, you understand? It could backfire on you. And then you end up in a relationship where you really don't want it. You know, it could be that way, you know? Yeah. But you say, as a man, you never horn in your life in a relationship. I mm -hmm. the same way, but we do love the tune. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Trouble in the Morning. Mikal Tejla is here. And we want to get into one of the tunes. Now, before we ask this, we 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 um we we know that he met Ding Dong on the first track because that was one of the questions from the audience. How did the um thing come about with me, with um Ding Dong? But we know that story now. What we want to know from you, Mikal, is Ding Dong this horn. He's the horn, I'm on. I forgot to ask you that. <laughs> We have everybody show we go out oh. seven. <laughs> no, but but big up to Ding Dong. Ding Dong was on our show pass when he came to America yeah, the other day. Yeah, back. yeah, we gotta come back. Yeah. We gotta organize things. You know what's the problem with Ding Dong? Ding Dong wants to come on the show, you know, but Ding Dong just can't wake up 9 30 in the morning. Like the worst yeah. thing with Ding Dong, yeah. you know. <laughs> Tell him I say that to no Mikel. I'm a yeah. dog, I'm a good friend, I'm a good friend. No, let's get into Horn and Fuss by Mikel Tejra and Ding Dong right here on Trouble in the morning. How them yelling them so boy? Long time when they like money, man. Now you like Susu, man. <laughs> this is from the age of 10. Had my first girlfriend. I didn't have no paper when she wanted ice cream from right round the bend. But don't fast forward later then. How much money you spend? This must 
so so hand where you get She marking every cent You see I Trust too much girl in life You see I Make too much of a choice You see I, I, I Try to do what is right When Carnival come back again Again, again 2023 When Carnival in first On in, on in All of them girl is the Oh, baby How come you are Long time oh, like man. Now you like Susu, man. Mikael, my girl on the line, you know. Right now, my girl watch. My girl in the studio. She had a cake knife close to it. Let me tell him it's just music. Yeah, it's just music. <laughs> Trust too much girl in life. You see, I am. That's why you know me and you go in Trinidad for 2020. Girl is the worst I hon in first. Take it in reverse. I hon in like. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 da. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 da. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 da. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 da. Ba ba da ba da ba ba da. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 da. Ba ba da ba da ba ba da. Ba ba da ba da ba ba da. Now, Mikael. Mm-hmm. Where's your stance on bands? Like, do you do you enjoy the atmosphere when you're performing for a full band? Would you ever join oh, a band? Definitely, bro. Definitely. Yeah. Yo, I love I love to be playing yeah. performing with eighteen because eighteen is the band who usually. All oh, right, 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 right. just not like I love that vibe. I love band boy. For some reason, band is just help you to express. Like you as an artist, way more than the tracks now. Facts. And that drummer just bam, 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 and gaining them little phrases. Cool. So if if the team band say, yo, Mikel, right now the guitarist, he taking it a little belly pain, boy. We were mm-hmm. up on the guitar, where you feel like something, you jump on. Nah, they ain't go get money guitar. <laughs> but if they say, yeah, well, we were a lead sing for we, yeah. Yeah. So did you have, have you ever tried out the lead sing for any band at all, period? Um, not really, you know. Coming to think about it, not really, you know. Yeah. So that's something mm-hmm. in the future. Could we look in the see Michael Teja? No, but the next thing you really have much bands around too, you know. Daddy, the eighteen band have a have a um the eighteen band have a lead singer. Yeah, I think there are people, man. Um, I know curls and soca trainer now. I think that the, the people's love. And and I've been seeing curls a lot. Shout to curls. I've been seeing yeah. that young lady a lot on my social media. There's a lot of people that know her. So hey, I feel like something I should try boy that way. Yeah, you yeah, talking yeah. of? It's either that or you have to make create your own band. That is it. And uh, there's so many bands out here. I feel you, you wanna be part of the biggest one and because the team is the new Roy Cape and I tell him yeah, I'm shooting them. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. The real team, the, the team is in New Roy Cape. So, Mikael Teja, let us know where we can find you on Instagram, where we can, and here at GMGT, we, they love to buy music, so we want to know where we can purchase your music. All right, forget uh, the YouTube streaming, we want to know where we can purchase your music. So, on every single platform, from Twitter, mm-hmm. IG, everywhere, is Mikael Teja, M-I-C-A-L-T-E-J-A, on every platform. Um... With regards to that as well, too, you know, you could go on the Spotify, go on the Apple Music, keep streaming, keep pushing it. Right now, actually, today, I just dropped a brand new song. It's called Depend On You. For, it's for Mother's Day. So we you get to check that one out on the YouTube, I'll check man. the email. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you had that for we send that right now, Mikhail Teja. If the wherever you have, Trouble in the Morning, um, podcast at Trouble in the Morning at gmail.com. Oh, is it? That's what is it? Podcast uh, at Trouble in the Morning.com, yes. Yeah. You could what if we could you could WhatsApp me that email, bro, and I'll, I'll send. Yeah, I'll send I, I will send it right now to, to to the management, and we would like to get that on the show before we done because here we're going on this yeah. Mother's Day. We had to do something. I'm sending that email right now as we speak. I'm sending it to your, your management right now. Uh, we also have a, um, a, a song 
with this Mikel Tejo on the same rhythm with Ding Dong. Yes, uh, boy. The mashup, boy. Yes, yes boy. Yes. Talk to me about the mashup there one time, um, Mikel Tejo. No, that was me really trying to find out, find a way to make the soca kind of fit in with the zest and right. trinity systems. I know we always talk about wine and jam and jump and wave, and we're not really tapping into concepts that could fit and really translate to the ground. Okay. So, you know, as I say, you know, um, big man, I, you know, born in a poverty, but them thing I don't like. Mm. If you had the Benz Park outside, you know, things that the average youth man could relate to now. Facts. Mm -hmm. and, and, now, yeah. I could relate to well and, 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 and mass. Now. Yeah. Now, I could tell you this. A very great piece of advice I get from somebody, and it was mm -hmm. a, a person who had a lot of stuff handed down to them in life. They watch me and they say, if you was never born with it in life, make sure you die with it in life. You understand? So pretty much they're saying like if you didn't born with an inheritance, make sure when you die your family have an inheritance to collect. And I understand what you're saying there. Exactly. So, Mikal Tesha, this one is called Mashup. Let's take in this and then we wrap up with Mikal Tesha. This is trouble in the morning on GMGT. Taja, pan it. No 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 no. This Big is man I born in a poverty, but them thing I don't like. Get a youth at the Addy Benz Park outside A pretty girl pass and me drink with two black eyes You can't see life nice, so nice, yeah But they're talking All your business out the road and they're walking But can't fit inside your shows, so them barking And can't put one bite on you So we don't study them, them, them Because Jackie, we yell can strength, so what we do? Mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up that Cause we do bad mind people trying we be good and then protect we back So what we do? Mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up that Cause we do bad mind people trying we be good and then protect we back So we stay away from them Away from them Away from them Away from them Stay away Say get to what get to inside of your mind Pick up the hustlers, them way Don't need no nine to five mm. Whole day we are grind, grind, grind yeah. But they're talking All your business out the road And they're walking Yes, boy, x boy. Cap it inside your shows Big show, man, That's it, Yeah And can put one bite on you So we do Mikkel Your writing skills Is epic I think okay. that daddy would colossal. It's big. You already yeah. telling you now your writing skills is up there. So Mikal, your mommy is still around in your life? Yeah, definitely. So you yeah, are going on today's Mother's Day, no Mikal. I know I ain't wanna keep you too long because I know mommy I had to take care of mommy today. You know, and yeah. just 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 shout out your mommy for we there one time, Mikal. So to my moms and to all the mothers all over the world right now, I want to wish you guys a happy, happy Mother's Day. And remember, you all are not just birth givers, but you all are the backbone of society. Without, without you, we wouldn't be here. So we had to celebrate you all every time. Every time. Big to all the mothers out there, right? Happy Mother's Day to the mothers out there. All right, Mikkel, before, you, before we let you go, it was a pleasure having you here and running through some of your catalog. Now, you have our uh, email address, podcast at troubleinthemorning.com. Send over the Mother's Day tune and uh, let us um, get at you. Podcast at troubleinthemorning.com. We're going to forward it over also to... Um, all right, and then we're we, we going to get it out there for you guys. Now, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to really speak with us because it's been a while. Like I explained to your manager, it's been a while. We've been trying to reach out, but you know for real? Yeah, it's been a while, you know. Damn. We've been I we've been trying to get Mikal Tejo in here since probably of September last year. Yeah. Real talk. 
Yeah, well, I'm glad we could, we could, I'm glad we could get it over there. Yes, man. When, when I hit up your management, Anthony, you said to me, well, now is the time. She said, now is the time that you, you were supposed to get it. So it yeah. happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason. And, and I do appreciate you for taking the time to come out here and really speak with us. We do love everything that you're doing out there. And we want you to keep up the good works, brother. You know what I'm yep. telling you? Guys, likewise, I am, I am humble to be on the platform as well, too, bro. That's it's it. The that. Today's mothers, they saw a lot of the mothers and they, 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 they locked in, but they, they in and out, in and out with we today. So good yeah, morning yeah. to all the mothers out there. And Mikhail Teja, I tell you, keep up the good works. Carnival 2024, like you say. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely going to link up and we're going we're gonna to be doing crazy things. All right. Trouble in the morning. We have a, a serious platform coming for all the artists. So, you know, make sure. Tanil is on board. We're going to keep up to her, uh, with her. We're going to keep up whatever you're doing on Instagram, the Facebook, whatever the case is, my brethren. So yeah, keep up the good work. For a very young artist in the game, you're really making some headways, brother. You know? Time. Where's your favorite if football team? Is that Trinidadian? You must have a football team. Don't Chelsea. Say, oh, God, I'm not going to tell you. Don't say Chelsea, man. Don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you feel so right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, and yeah, Scott, yeah. I might have a problem, you know? Proper management. <laughs> <laughs> so Proper we got to all the Chelsea fans out there. Yo, Mikhail Tesha, is anybody want to send shouts to before you, you head on out? Um, I want to say, honestly, to everybody locked on right now, I know with COVID and everything, you know, you're feeling as though you're, you're not able to make the moves you want to make. And, and I feel the same way. Um, But something that my aunt shared with me that I, I i live by is you know man plan god laugh so i i, I will always should tell people you know this mm -hmm. real real i like that i'm gonna use that i'm gonna next picture caption on instagram mm -hmm. yeah. yeah man plan but god laughs you have a next picture instagram caption because Live life now, you know. Yes, boy. Yo, thank you very much for coming through. Yeah, Mikel, I would yeah. like to keep the doors open for you. I appreciate that. You understand? Anything you have, anything you want to do, anytime you're in America, please visit GMGT Studios. We are right here in Brooklyn, New York. So crazy. Yeah, say less, say less, say less, my bro, because I actually am planning to come outside just now. So, well, that yeah. is it. July first, we open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah, July yeah. 1st, we <laughs> open. So anytime you touch down GMGT Studios, it's always open to make Alteja. It doesn't have to be our show. It could be any show on here. It is open yeah. to make Alteja. Thank you very much for taking your time out to come and speak with us today, brother. Hey, bro, anytime, anytime. That's right? it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Mikhail Teja, DJ Trader, take us out. There's a tune right to it. Yeah, he right this one. The sisters. Man, don't mean that you hear you. Pretty yeah. years and shoes. Don't mean you have two, three man where you spend pan you. Woman, you confuse real woman of them bang look. And we don't make excuse. If all you have Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. You're bound to lose, so let me tell you what. Real woman.